Welcome to day 18 of the Table Topics 30 Day Challenge. Question number one. What are three more rules you will never break? Hello fellow Toastmasters. Three moral rules. Boy, I think that like many people, I set out to be honorable and operate with integrity, and I do. And yet there's times where I fall down. It's part of being human. You know, the little white lies. You don't want to hurt someone's feelings. So you say, or you tell, a little white lie. And yeah, it's lying, but the other alternative is that you hurt someone's feelings. So yeah, I want to say no, I would never lie. That would be one of the moral rules. Yet I do. I would love to say that I would never offend God. But that isn't true. That happens daily. So I don't know if there are moral rules that we can avoid breaking. I think that we give our best commitment and we give our promise, which basically says, I'll do my best. But to really concretely say, I will never, ever, ever do that. I think as humans, that's a real challenge for us. Mr. Toastmaster, one minute, 33 seconds. Question number two. Based on your current daily action and routines, what would you expect? Where would you expect to be in five years? So based on your current daily actions and routines, where would you expect to be in five years? Hello, fellow Toastmasters. I don't know about you, but I know that right now I am on an upward trajectory. I am really spending a lot of time looking at myself and not just looking. Looking is nice but I'm actually working on myself and I have seen good growth. So I am thinking that in five years, I will be, what's the right word I want to use to describe that? More like someone that I always wanted to be. Someone that was more in control or more sure of themselves, more dedicated, more mental grit. For sure, more mental grit. So that's really where I think that I will be in five years. Will I be a millionaire? Yeah. But I would like to think, hey, I would maybe be close to it. <laughs> Madam Toastmaster, one minute, nine seconds. Question number three. What do you love to do? Well, hello, fellow Toastmasters and welcome guests. You know, one of the things that I enjoy is heading out on a vacation or a day trip with my camera and my wife and driving either south on Highway 1 and checking out Big Sur or going north up toward Half Moon Bay. But either way, driving along Highway 1, north or south, there is some absolutely beautiful, beautiful seascapes. And there's nothing better than driving along, spotting something so cool, pulling over, grabbing the camera, and then hiking down some little trail to get to a spot and being rewarded with this amazing ocean vista. Water crashing into cliffs and and the color of it, gulls flying by, the color of the sky, the sky reflecting off the water. So it's a lot of fun. And then trying to capture some of that beauty in the camera and looking at it afterwards and seeing if I can't get my final result with a little bit of post-processing to look like what I saw when I was actually there on site. Mr. Toastmaster. One minute, 34 seconds. Question number four. 
When did you not speak up when you should have? Hello, fellow Toastmasters. I think all of us sitting here all have a desire to be accepted. We have a desire to want to be liked and to be well thought of by other people. Now, there are folks out there that will tell you, I don't give one hoot what someone thinks about me. I don't care. People can go take a long walk off a short pier, to put it politely. But really, deep down, with them too, I think it's an act. I think everybody has a desire to be accepted. It's how we're wired as human beings. We are wired to be in relationships. And to be in relationships, there's a desire to be liked, to be well thought of. So there have been times in my life where I haven't spoken up because I didn't want to be that guy. I didn't want to be the one that made waves. I wanted to, what's the phrase? Go along to get along. And I think that kind of pairs in with me as a kid where I was painfully shy. Painfully shy. And I would oftentimes just be quiet. This one time at a picnic when I was about 13, someone asked me, this person I really respected, asked me to reach in and grab a Coke out of this big icy bucket of soda that they, they dropped the Coke in there. And I'm fishing around, I couldn't find it, couldn't find it, and this person's looking at me like, what is wrong with this kid, is he stupid? He reaches in, picks it up, and he grabs his can of Coke, and he looks at me like, you dummy, and he walks away. Well, what he didn't know is I thought he said, I dropped my key in there, will you get it for me? But I was too shy to tell him that, and I let him walk off thinking that I was, you know, this noodle head. Mr. Toastmaster, two minutes, even. Two minutes even.